throughout the course of the series, I've been sharing with you concepts and ideas that I have uh, collected over the last few decades, couple of decades of study uh, and experience playing live and in the recording studio. And uh, I think that that they'll be very useful to you, especially uh, some of the more technical exercises that will enable you to play um, more difficult material. And some of the concepts, uh, you know, you might find more uh, up your alley than others. That's great. Take them and run with them. Um, they are definitely all valuable uh, within each uh, segment that uh, I showed you. There's something to learn for, from all of them. Uh, it's up to you to take the ones that really resonate with you and run with them. Uh, I've been fortunate throughout the years to, to have studied with uh, a lot of the greatest drummers in the world and eventually become friends and peers with um, a lot of the uh, people that I grew up admiring uh, their work. So uh, I encourage you to further your study by checking out uh, as many uh, great drummers and musicians uh, that you can. And, uh, you know, you got to just try to keep learning uh, as, as much as you can because even today I'm still learning uh, at the level that I'm at, which I, I consider a, a, a pretty high level. I enjoy, uh, I still enjoy learning as much as I did when I was a kid. <clears throat> so it's a lifelong process. Uh, hopefully you can take uh, the concepts and ideas that uh, I've, you know, tried uh, and succeeded and some of the shortcomings and missteps and uh, the, uh, some of the, you know, failures that, uh, that have happened in regards to playing and technique that I've uh, managed to sidestep and arrive where I am now. Um, the information that I've delivered to you uh, is through trial and error, and now I'm at the point where I feel like it, you uh, will be able to benefit from it very much, and uh, it's been an absolute pleasure doing this series for 818 Drums, and I want to thank you, and we'll see you next time.